Hi guys, welcome back to another Payday 2 video, and today I have a new build for you that I think you guys will really like, and it was actually suggested by one of you guys, so shout out Slenderface, thank you so much for the uh, build idea, and even though I've changed things up a little bit, hopefully it's still um, worthy of, uh, of your idea that you originally had, and um, hopefully it just gives you an idea of maybe what you can do for your own build if you decide to make a World War 1 build, um, and for other people watching, kind of the same idea, so I really appreciate everybody's support on these videos and uh, all of the likes comments um all of everybody subscribing i really appreciate it just a reminder if i hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year i will get a payday 2 tattoo that i will have filmed and posted onto the channel for you guys to watch so uh and it will actually also be decided by you guys i'll have several options for you to choose from and you guys will get to vote on it so without further ado that's all i have hope you guys enjoy the build and i look forward to seeing you in the comments Peace out. How's it going everybody? My name's Nick and today I'm bringing you another Payday 2 build. Today we're looking at the World War 1 build as suggested by a viewer. So uh, to start things off we're going to look at the overview of the build. We'll look at the weapons, the throwables, the skills, the perk decks, etc. And then we'll look at some gameplay to see how things work for the build. So to start things off for the overview, for the armor we're looking at the ballistic vest. For our equipment we are looking at the first aid kits primary is the Nagant sniper rifle, our secondary is the Frenchman model 87 revolver, our throwable is the Stoic's hip flask because we're going to be using Stoic, Stoic as our perk deck, can't talk, our uh, melee will be the weapon button, we'll look at that when we uh, kind of look at the weapons here in just a little bit, and then our skills, uh, as you can see, are primarily in the mastermind and the fugitive tree, but we will break those down here momentarily. So uh, to start things off, let's go ahead and look at the skills. Alrighty, so to start things off, I'm actually going to look at the things that um, have the least amount of points in them. So we'll go from Enforcer down to Fugitive and then back around to Mastermind. So, for Enforcer, we're going to have Resilience Aced, Die Hard Aced, and we're going to be having a Scavenger Basic. The reason I have these... Uh, for, since we're running stoic shock and awe and bulls i have no effect on stokes there's no point in having that but we are we do have a ballistic vest so this will uh increase our armor by 20 which will in turn give us some more health um and then just those pesky flashbangs be nice to have that um resilience aced and then this just for better ammo pickup for technician these are also a little bit of pickups um we have hardware expert basic drill sergeant basic and steady grip basic for Ghost, we have Duck and Cover Basic, Parkour Basic, and Second Wind Basic. Now, for Fugitive, since we have a revolver, uh, I figured we better get a couple of uh, pistol skills here. So, um, we will have Equilibrium Basic. I chose Gun Nut Basic, but either one of these aren't going to apply to the revolver, so uh, just pick one. <laughs> Then I picked a one hand talent, or one handed talent aced, which will uh, increase our base damage by 10, and desperado ace, which will allow us to reload our pistol faster by 50%. Next, we'll have nine lives ace, so if we're playing one down, we get that extra down. Now, I chose a couple of um, melee skills because for our Nagant, we actually have the. Um, we have the bayonet on the front so instead it acts as for our melee we have the weapon butt and so that allows us to uh, use that as our melee so in turn I wanted to at least have it to where it could be used at certain times so with things like bloodthirst um, where each kill that we get will increase the damage of our next melee attack by 100% up to a maximum 1600% um, so as we get kills we build up that bloodthirst it stacks up to 1600% and then whenever we stab somebody with our bayonet it will do a lot of damage um, naturally the bayonet doesn't do a whole lot so I kind of feel like if you're wanting to try and use it you do need to have some kind of skill uh, along with it to, to help support it. I also picked up pumping uh, pumping iron basic um, so that our melee attacks against the non-special enemies do 100% more damage. I typically am not going to be meleeing cloakers, tasers, bulldozers, so I thought that was a good pickup anyways. Okay, 
So now let's look at the meat of the build. Um, so for the medic side, we're going to have combat medic basic, quick fix basic, and uppers aced. Um, obviously, we're running first aid kits, so we want to be able to have all of the first aid kits that we can get. Not too focused on resing people with this build, so I didn't pick up painkillers or inspire or anything like that. For controller now for me personally with stoic i absolutely love having a uh, hostage taker um it just makes things really easier and if there ever comes a point to where you've lost too much health and it's just really difficult to get it back up there instead of consuming a first aid kit we can get our health back up with hostage taker so um i have force friendship basic Joker basic, confident ace, partners in crime ace, and hostage taker ace. That's kind of the, the standard if you're running hostage taker, so probably not any surprise there. Now, um, since our Nagant is actually a sniper rifle, but without a sight on it, as you'll see in a little bit, it feels like a marksman rifle, which is really nice, but that also means that Grays works with our Nagant. And so, um, I just recently made a sociopath build for snipers using Grays and talking about how great it is, and it applies here as well it's unbelievable so i have stable shop basic marksman basic rifleman basic ammo efficiency basic this is really nice if we get uh, multiple headshots uh get that bullet refunded back into our clip um we're back into our used weapon i don't i can't remember specifically if it actually goes back into our clip but uh we get ammo back which is nice for any kind of sniper rifle uh aggressive reload um aced because we're getting or attempting to get a lot of headshots specifically with Gray's ace aggressive reload ace is really nice to keep that reload speed up and running if you don't have the reload speed up um with the nagant it can be a little bit painful not as not as bad as the thanatos but it can be pretty bad and then of course Gray's ace and if you aren't aware of what Gray's does uh, if a bullet would headshot kill somebody this is for the ace uh, the Gray's skill will deal 100% of the weapon's damage instead of 20%, and that's in a 100 centimeter radius around the bullet trajectory. So if you have multiple troops kind of clumped up, you headshot one of them, they're all going down. It's an absolutely amazing skill to have if you're running any kind of sniper rifle, so please be sure to run that if you decide to try out this build. So next, let's take a look at our Stoic perk deck, talk about it for a second, and then we'll look at the weapons. Okay, so... For our perk deck, we're going to be using Stoic. Originally in the comment, um, I actually had received two comments from him saying uh, the first one was that he specifically mentioned trying Sociopath out with the build. And then uh, the second one, he didn't really mention Sociopath, just kind of was talking about weapons you could interchange instead of using the Nagant, maybe try the um, trench, trench gun, things like that. Um, so, but he also suggested that I could change virtually whatever I wanted on the build. Um, so... I did try Sociopath, and um, wherever it is, here it is. I did try Sociopath. The issue is, especially on Death Wish and Death Sentence, it's very difficult to survive when you're not doing a lot of melee damage all the time. And so the nice thing about the bayonet is um, it's very fast. The other problem is that it doesn't do much damage hardly at all. Unless we have up um, like our skills running that allow it to do a lot more damage. But if you're trying to do multiple melee kills in a row, that's probably not going to happen since your bloodthirst isn't going to be activated. So I decided to resort back to everybody's fail safe besides Anarchist, and that is Stoic. I thought Stoic kind of fit in better with the World War One type of theme. I think of hip flasks being very um, old school, uh, World War One, World War Two esque so I thought that kind of fit in with, uh, with the theme that we're going for. Um, virtually, if you don't know what Stoic is, I'm not going to explain this entire uh, perk deck. That will um, I'll leave that up to you to kind of look at for yourself on the game. But what Stoic virtually does is damage taken is reduced by 75%. Um, and then the remaining damage will be applied um, over time. So, so 75% of that damage that you receive will be applied over time of the course of, I think it says 12 seconds. Um, which of course as you upgrade the the amount of time that you're being damaged decreases but you can press three to activate the hip flask and all of that damage that is slowly coming off of you from being damaged that 75 percent will automatically be negated and you'll be healed back to where you were virtually so um it's a very nice perk to have and you could 
almost with stoic and anarchist you could slap this on nearly any build and survive in death wish destinies as long as you know what you're doing so now that we've talked about stoic a little bit let's go ahead and take a look at weapons Okay, first things first, let's take a look at the primary. We're going to be looking at the Nagant Sniper Rifle. Now, to kind of look at our um, stats for the weapon. So, for our magazine, we're at 5. Our total ammo is at 25. Our rate of fire is at 60. Our damage is at 504 with skills. Our action is at 100 with skill. Our stability is at 16. Concealment, 6. Threat, 28. Reload, 3.3. 3. And that's with our skill. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what perks I've put on. And just keep in mind that I, uh, with all of this build, besides maybe the skills in the perk deck, um, I have attempted to try and stay on theme the best I could. Meaning, I'm not putting lasers on my gun because I'm trying to make this as World War One-esque as possible. So, just keep that in mind as you're seeing what I've done to uh, the Nagant and the um, Model 87 revolver. Now, uh, no barrel. I, one, I don't have them unlocked. But two, I... If, if any of them were to be added, I'd say probably the long barrel uh, would be added. Um, there's nothing wrong with, with adding it on there, but um, I just thought, eh, I don't have it unlocked anyways. I'm not going to take the time uh, <laughs> to do that. So. Um, so for our first attachment, we have on the bayonet. For the boost, you can put on whatever you want, but I decided for this build not to do um, any boost or anything. For our gadget, we're not going to have one. For our sight, we're going to have the iron sight. Now, that's typically what you see with Nagants, I think. Um, now, I'm sure they had some scopes, and I think if you were to have, if you re just really wanted a scope, my suggestion would be the base one that it comes with. Not to try any other uh, sight if you're trying to stick with a World War One esque um, type of build, because the rest of these are very um, futuristic and things you, I guess, really wouldn't see. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at on that and I don't have the stock unlocked so no stock pretty simple right now let's go ahead and take a look at our secondary so for our secondary we're gonna be looking at the Frenchman model 87 revolver now same thing applies where I just didn't uh, try and go too crazy with this thing for our barrel um, I don't have one equipped now you could go with the opera long barrel if you really wanted um, but I decided just not to use that um, I just thought it looked a little bit goofy actually with this little little thing underneath it I kind of wish it wasn't there but anyways I decided to keep it the same uh, I do have the concealment boost on but honestly it it doesn't it doesn't matter I, I just think I had that on from a previous time that I was using it no charm and I have the mule bone grip that just gives us a tiny bit of stability. Now, one other thing I need to mention for our weapons is the melee. We're using the weapon butt, and the reason we're using that is because you can't use the bayonet on the uh, Nagant if you have any other melee equipped. So you have to have the weapon butt equipped in order to utilize that bayonet. And specifically in the viewer's comment, they had talked about the bayonet and they've always and they actually commented twice about the world war one build and both times they mentioned the bayonet so i wanted to try and use the bayonet the best that i could it's still a little bit difficult but i wanted to try and use it the best that i could um and not use anything else so um if you still like this build you're like eh, i don't really care about the bayonet then of course feel free to choose a different melee weapon we're already at maximum detection anyways so go wild with it all right so, now that we've looked at the skills, perk decks, and our weapons, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Hi, sorry. Um, I'm not ready to show you gameplay yet. One thing I gotta mention. Um, since I'd already talked a little bit about trying to make this build a little bit more based on realism, I did want to talk about my armor choices and my equipment choice. Um, so obviously my outfit, if you haven't noticed by now in all my videos, I try and correlate my outfit with something with the build, unless it's just a completely nonsense build, then obviously it doesn't matter exactly what I'm wearing. It's more about the weapons, etc. But for this, since it's a theme of World War One, I, I wanted to try and correlate with the dive bomber outfit, which actually mentions, uh, mentions World War One aerial combat and then the gas mask, which of course we all know. Uh, the gas masks are pretty much were introduced in World War One with all of the mustard gas and everything. So I thought that fit. 
Now for my armor, um, I actually chose the standard ballistic vest. The reason I chose that is because that's actual armor, the type of armor that they were using in World War One, which I'm sure I'll put up some images, but um, that's the type type of armor that was seen and so I was like well that's probably pretty appropriate then so something like the heavy ballistic vest or ballistic vest um, would probably be closer to uh, what may have been used um, in World War One. Anyways for my um, for my equipment I actually chose the first aid kit I just thought that fit a little bit better and that's just personally what I wanted to use and what I like running with stoic anyways so all right sorry to interrupt you have fun with the gameplay bye here we go money baby, money that's right. Ow. Can you okay, stop shooting me? Okay, let's rock and roll. Clock's ticking, people. Overkill, you can hire me as the new uh, wolf voice actor. Unless the other one comes back, then please. <laughs> also just a joke where's the head of security I always forget there it is I always forget about this mission like what to actually do okay Boop. Also, of course, I do have this set on public, but I didn't feel like trying to be in somebody else's lobby. So, please take in mind, uh, you know, things like reload speed, interaction speed, um, the amount of ammo that I'm able to pick up because there's no other players in the game, things like that. Since I have AI, that is a result of that. Uh, I didn't want to play this on my own, although I probably should have, but that's just what I want to do. So. Here we're at. Here we're at. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. A security switchboard. Oh no, we're taking you down, buddy. Let me... Level 20? You know what? I respect the grind, brother. Come on in. I'll do my best to, uh, to help you. Ow. Although I'm maybe the one that's needing the help by the end of it all. Now the thing to keep in mind is if you aren't able to hit your shots with the Nagant, you're probably going to be in trouble. So, and I wouldn't say that I'm very good, see? Go ahead and grab some gasoline while I'm here. I gotta go back over to the circuit box. Digital's back down. Woo. Let me just go ahead and take that. I don't know where the other guy is. The guy joined, but... Wow. With that AI here, I think it took, what, five seconds? Now it's taking 20? Good lord. Protect me, Dallas. No. 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 Go away. Somebody needs to take care of that. <laughs> Dallas, get on it, buddy. Somebody help James. 
Digital left. Alright. That's fine. I didn't notice my health. I wasn't paying attention to it. Glad you guys spread up that storm. It sure was rough for a while. Just ready up and back to work. If we're gonna get into the boss's office, we need to open the rest of the house. Look for a switch or something. Fuck. Now what? We got it, we got it. Scarface. I hope he's playing a Scarface. Oh, we gotta go upstairs to drop it off. Do -do -do. I just realized I don't even have a hostage yet. I don't know if we can actually make these guys surrender. Paintings in here, are they? Ow. Ow. I suck at this game. Ooh, painting. It's also a painting. Good deal. Honestly, this this revolver is really fun to use. It's definitely not one of the best ones that you can use, but it's really fun. Give me a medic bag. Give me a medic bag.
I don't know what this guy's doing. Found the blue weagle. Ah. Also, just wanted to say I did test this build um, with Berserker and also with Frenzy and also with Sociopath, Berserker, and all kinds of different kind of forms. Um. I don't know what you're doing, buddy, but... It up, guys. But anyways, I just didn't see them uh, working as well. I was kind of surprised, but... If he's trying to get jokers or what he's trying to do. If I can get figured out exactly where it's going to shoot when I hip fire, which is pretty easy to do with pretty much any kind of uh, weapon that you're using, but if I get that figured out, I feel so good with the gun, man. It's pretty wild. down Ow.
There we go. See because of your your mask. Can you die? There we go. The message has been delivered. Ernesto Sosa is dead. The work here is done. Gonna go ahead and grab me some ammo. Nice. to go down so I had to slap down a uh, first aid kit Ow. Is there another sniper up here yeah. I'm like focused in right now. Can't get in the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess we just I guess we just take it all out, right? Jeez, man. I guess we're all just, I guess we're just throwing it all over the edge, huh?
I'm gonna go ahead and patch up here. Oh, jeez. Are we not gonna be able to get this guy up? I got you, buddy. I got you. Now we run. Eh. I'm gonna grab this ammo. Eh. 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 Yay, trophies. Eh. Is that everything? And away we go. Look at us go. Whew. World War One, Bill, baby. I tell you what, it's fun. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, Nick here. Just wanted to uh, thank you guys for all the support on the channel, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. We'll have more builds coming in the future, and just wanted to give you an update that um, I am still working on our Discord channel that I will have available to the public for everybody that's interested in joining and talking about all things Payday will be able to join. I should have it completed in October, and I will be sure to give you guys an update and let you know when it is ready to go, um, hopefully by next video, but I'm not going to make any promises. So I think that's really all I wanted to let you know about. If you uh, have anything that you would change for the build or maybe another build that you would suggest for me to try out, let me know down in the comments below. Love looking at those comments, love talking to you guys in the comments, and I'll be sure to check it out. I think that's it for me. Peace out.